we are in the gorgeous city of Salzburg. I had expected it to be a city that was busier than it actually is. So Salzburg has been both a cultural and a nature-y kind of destination for me. I mean, obviously with Mozart and being the filming location for The Sound of Music. My highlight was certainly the Fräulein Maria bicycle tours. I am a huge Sound of Music fan. And so to be able to go to all these places from the movie in a three and a half hour tour, it was incredible. And I think that that is the best way to see those sites. It was really manageable, um, not overly difficult at all, but just fun. The second highlight was the Edelweiss cooking school. We made crisp apple strudels and um, being able to experience something different and making new dishes was definitely a way to really immerse myself into the culture and to try something that Austrians really love to eat. There's the Old Town area, which has so much to do and so much to see. But then across the riverbank, there's also incredible shops and more beautiful churches, beautiful cathedrals, just beautiful scenery every single place you look. And we got to enjoy a concert with the music by Mozart. It's hard to describe, but it's just like a magical place. You're here and everything is just pristine and beautiful. I would describe Innsbruck as being very um, close to nature and very outdoorsy and um, everything seems to be tied to activity and you know, you're pretty much right next to the mountains, so it's hard not to make that part of your life here in Innsbruck. The old town is completely charming and it is very old. In fact, when we went to the part where they called the new town, they said, well, this is, you know, anything built from the 1600s to 1800s. So pretty much anything in the U.S. would be new town to these people here in Innsbruck. And the architecture is simply stunning. I mean, you're going to see beautiful churches all over Europe, but we went to St. Jacob's Cathedral and it is just beautiful. You can go in any direction from Innsbruck and there's a mountain there. I would say the first highlight was going up to Nordketa. Uh, we took the cable car all the way up and that was an experience in and of itself. I think it took 20 minutes by cable car um, when you start right in town. And then having sheep randomly around you. Simply breathtaking. It is something I'm going to remember forever. So we basically walked around the peak, we climbed up to the very top, we took some amazing photos, and we had an amazing lunch at um, Seagruba. My second highlight was when we got to go see the Olympic ski jump uh, right in Innsbruck. It was designed by the famous architect Zaha Hadid. It's just simply a marvel. You go up and you can go all the way to the top and you can see where the ski jumpers go off. It's truly impressive. Swarovski Crystal World was so wonderfully whimsical. Uh, we went through this one exhibit where it was all housed inside a building, um, but they were separated into different displays. And we would round a corner and not even know what we would be seeing on the other side. Think about those small details when your clients are coming. If they're traveling in July, you want to make a reservation for them at the Cafe Sache so that they can view those concerts. They're gonna feel like a complete VIP, but it takes no time for you to do that, and it's gonna make all the difference for your clients. Try and suggest to your clients to spend more than a day trip here in Salzburg. Just being able to spend two nights here in Salzburg, it is a completely different experience. You know, you are woken up in the morning by church bells because I'm sleeping with my window open because the air is so brisk and it feels so good. And to be able to see Salzburg at, at a relaxed pace, that just makes the difference. Another thing that they should really 
think about is making sure they are getting a licensed guide because there are places that you can't get into if you're just going on your own and just trying to tour on your own. People really need to seriously consider Austria when they are looking for their European vacation.